dentist and his GP wife face £200,000 bill after neighbours sued over extension to pound 1.6 million house which blocked out light, despite having planning permission to build it. Peter and Catherine Amy Awu were given permission to build an extension. Neighbours Peter and Francis Scott said it reduced the light in their home. Judge agreed development blocked windows of Scott's £1.1 million property. Amy was told to cover 90% of Scott's legal bills as well as their own. Scott family have now put their house on the market over the dispute. A dentist and GP who had planning permission to build an extension on their £1.65 million home are now facing a £200,000 bill after losing a legal battle over the development blocking their neighbor's light. Peter Amy Awu and his doctor wife Catherine were given permission to build an extension at the back of their home in Potter's Bar, Hertfordshire. But they ended up in a court after their neighbours Peter and Francis Scott sued, despite failing to lodge an official complaint over the application. The Scotts, who live in the £1.1 million home next door, had wanted to object over the plans but feared damaging their cordial relationship with the Amy Ewes. But a judge found in the Scots' favour, agreeing that the extension blocked their windows and left part of their house in the shade. Now the Amy Ewes have been ordered to pay costs of more than £200,000 to cover both theirs and the Scots' legal bill. Sitting at the Court of Appeal, Lord Justice Briggs to ordered the Amy Ewes to pay 90% of the Scots' costs, with £100,000 up front, before the full amount is eventually assessed. Their lawyers had argued that the Amy Ewes should only pay their court fees, rather than their overall legal costs. But, the judge said that would allow the already expensive case to result in further substantial bills. The couple had already been awarded more than £31,000 in damages. Meanwhile, the Scots claim they have been forced to move because of the dispute and have put their home on the market. She told Mail Online, We are moving. The court case is still going on they are supposed to have paid us £140,000 in costs and so far all we have received is £30,000. The court was told how the row began in June 2012 when the couple began work on the extension. Ahead of the development, the couples were on good terms. But building surveyor Mr Scott, 51, said he and his 49-year-old management skills trainer wife became worried about the impact it would have on light at the back of their property when they were shown the plans. Mr. Scott then wrote to Hertzmere Borough Council, not objecting, but hinting at potential issues which might scupper the development. He said he did not want to damage the relationship with his neighbors and was shocked when permission was granted. He then did all he could to persuade them not to go ahead with the work. The court was told. In a hearing over the issues at Central London Court Court last February, Judge Edward Cole also said he understood why the Scots had not complained. The judge said, given the neighborly relationship, it would have been awkward at the least to be making a hostile response to an application that he hoped would be rejected. He knew that his letter would be available to be read on the council's records and he was hoping that a letter in this form would not appear too unfriendly. Unfortunately, from his point of view, what he hoped would happen did not materialize. He added that the Amy Ewes had been careless in carrying on with the work without their neighbor's support and considered the right to light an issue that did not affect residents in the suburbs. The attitude taken by the defendants appears to have been that it was not an issue because they had planning permission, he said. He also rebutted Mr. Amy Awu's claim that there had been an agreement between the couples that they would not object to planned work at each other's houses. He said, there is a good deal to be said for the view that the Amy Awu's behavior does not entitle them to sympathy. They were aware of the Scots' objections, if not before the works commenced, very soon afterwards, and those objections were sustained. They appear to have underplayed the significance of the impact that their work would have on Mr. and Mrs. Scott and their rights of light. Judge Cole also said that experts agreed the extension had resulted in loss of light in a bathroom and a garage which the Scots, who had lived there since 1997, used as an occasional workshop and office. 
the couple's rights had been infringed, leading to an adverse impact on their use and enjoyment of their home, he found. Mr. Amy Awu said the couples had agreed not to complain about one another's extension work. He claimed they had kept their end of the bargain in not objecting to an extension at the front of the Scots' house and expected their neighbours to do the same. But the Scots denied ever making such a binding agreement and Judge Cole agreed it was inherently improbable there had been one. After the ruling, Mrs. Scott, told the Evening Standard, we asked the Amy Yawas to change the design of their extension, long before they started building it. We feel the Amy Yawas brought the difficulty and costs of this matter on themselves. There was no answer at the Amy Yawas home this afternoon. Three cars were parked on the driveway, including a black mini with a personalized number platter, but curtains had been closed both upstairs and downstairs.